Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Balls review of the Microwave Grill. It's an as seen on TV product, Body by Jake Steel of Approval. So you're always taught not to put metal in the microwave, but that's what you, exactly what you're supposed to do with this micro grill as seen on TV product. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my videos, please go to patreon.com slash nine malls or just search Patreon for nine malls and you can support it there. And it starts from uh, $2 a month and you can cancel anytime. Appreciate that. All right, so cooks fresh and frozen foods without thawing, no cords, plugs, electricity, cooks with no oil, easy cleanup, dishwasher safe, complete meals in under seven minutes, browns and crisp, your favorite fruit food, works in any microwave. So. I don't know if you can see this on the cover, but you can actually see the onions are brown and the green peppers are brown, the steak is brown, and you know, it's, it's, it's all from this grill. So it seems pretty amazing if this actually works. I mean, it's like, you kinda, you know, it's heavy. Um, it's a really, uh, I guess I wouldn't say well-made, but it's, you know, it's a heavy, it's like your George Foreman grill without the plug-in. So if you can use your microwave and in place, because you know, the problem with the George Foreman grill, it's kind of ugly and it sits right on your countertop, it takes up a ton of space. So if you could do the same thing without, you know, plug, plug it in on your countertop, uh, this may actually be something I use because I cook, you know, chicken all the time and uh, that'd be great. So I have a chicken breast. I have some potatoes. I think potatoes would be really good to see if they actually brown. The chicken breast is big. It's completely frozen. And uh, let's see if it actually works. So I'm just gonna read a little bit of the instruction book. It came with this big instruction booklet slash uh, color, has a lot of color recipes. So that in itself is nice. All right, future kitchen technologies, the inventor of the micro grill has harnessed the energy created by your microwave oven and converted it to grill great tasting foods at microwave speeds. That's right, you can get grilled food from the microwave. The, grill, the micro grill is the only appliance that converts your microwave oven into a turbocharging grilling machine. All right, so I'm just reading the instruction booklet. It says, uh, foods cooked for a prolonged period in the microwave may create a fire hazard. Hazard. I don't know if that's in general or is it caused by this product. It kind of sounds like in general, but I just thought that was funny. To reduce the risk, do not overcook food. All right, so the food's all ready to go. We have our red potatoes right here, and we have a really thick, uh, frosty chicken breast right there. And if that cooks in seven minutes, I'll be really, really impressed. I guess anything could happen. Here we go. Seven minutes. Oh, it doesn't have the express cooking. Let's just put on six minutes and then I'll add an extra minute. It has express cooking feature. It's just a lot easier. All right, so I'm gonna film this just for a little bit to see if there's any type of reaction. All right, so we have four minutes left. It says, if when operating your microwave, you see sparks or flames inside the microwave, do not open the microwave door, immediately turn the microwave off, disconnect the power cord, and shut off power at fuse or circuit panel. All right, so it's been cooking exactly seven minutes. I'm gonna open it up, and it's very, very shocking, but can you hear that sizzle? I'm gonna put the microphone close. It's very hot, but this is doing something that I definitely didn't expect it to do. You can hear sizzling like a skillet. Okay, so it's been cooking another two minutes. I'm gonna open up the microwave and just see how it's looking. It's extremely hot, but I do see grill marks on top of the chicken and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in a couple more minutes. All right, so I left it another two minutes, took it out, and it's pretty much done, it looks like. But I'm gonna take off the potatoes. Uh, potatoes are definitely cooked. You can see there's a little bit of browning. Not as much as I would like, you know, no grill marks or anything like that. The moisture from the chicken kind of prevents that. 
Uh, maybe this was a smaller chicken breast. Um, there would be less juice. So yeah, you can see on top that it did brown a little bit. And I'm going to cut into it. And it's really hard getting this out of the microwave. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes. But it is hot. It looks pretty much done. All right, let me uh, just give this a little taste test. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna try it. Tastes like chicken, uh, obviously, but I still prefer a pan fry. Um, I think browning in a pan is definitely a different experience than browning in the microwave with this thing. Uh, the potatoes are mushy. Let me just taste this. Yeah, a little bit mushy. And even though it was a little bit brown, it definitely wasn't crispy. It did take quite a long time cooking in the microwave. I think it is a little bit faster than cooking it in like a pan or the oven. But um, yeah, so do I recommend the micro grill? The answer is I think you can pass on this one. I think if you, uh, I guess, live in a dorm room and you want to cook or you don't, you don't have an oven or something like that, I think this is a good item to have. I think, I think you could, you, it would do well uh, for that purpose. But for most people, I would just use a pan, cook it on the stove top, cook it in the oven. You're going to have better results. It's going to taste better. So I don't recommend it, you know, save your money. So uh, yeah, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you want to support my channel, go to patreon.com slash nine balls.